random packs of hockey cards. Welcome back everyone. Look at this. I've got a very, very expensive opening right here. Some more random packs of hockey cards. And I've got some bad news though. I had ordered a 1987-88 OPG wax pack. Someone had asked for some 80s packs and I had ordered it and it got lost in the mail. Got refunded and I'll have to order another one sometime. But yeah, I was planning on having it for this video and unfortunately it is not here. But I have an amazing lineup of packs here. Are you ready to see this? This is going to be super exciting. So, starting off, some 1819 Series 2 hobby, then a couple 1516 Series 1 packs looking for McDavid, 1617 Series 2 hobby, and then 1617 Series 1 hobby, and then the new 1920 Allure hobby, 1718 Trilogy hobby, and then 1819 Ice hobby pack, and then these ones are really hard to find, 1617 Ice hobby, and then 1819 SPX. This is going to be a fun opening, I hope, because the last one I was hoping was going to be amazing. It ended up being quite bad, unfortunately, considering how much I had paid for the packs. So let's hope this one improves on the last one. And let's just start with some 1819 Series 2 hobby. This stuff is a relatively cheap, obviously looking for something Carter Hart in here. And let's see if we do get a Young Guns. We've got a Valerie Nachushkin base card, JT Miller. These are the base, very nice. And Robert Hag, and then a Kiefer Sherwood, UD Rookie Portraits insert card. Very nice, I'll leave that aside. Mark Mathot, Nate Schmidt, Derek McKenzie, and Phil Kessel. Now, a couple packs of... 15, 16, Series 1, looking for the McDavid. Actually, that's interesting. No odds right here. Do both? Yeah. I think these are gravity feed packs, so it would make sense, I guess, if there weren't any odds on them. Hopefully, we can uh, get a Young Guns, though. We've got Leo Komarov, Kari Ramo, Matt Hendricks, and a UD canvas of David Perron for the Pittsburgh Penguins, and then Ryan Suter, John Tavares, Pecorini, and Alex Goligoski. So, 0 for 1 on the... 15, 16 Series 1 retail. Hopefully this one can give us something cool and I do think we have a Young Guns. Let's go Teddy Purcell and then uh, Yuri Hoodler and Ben Scrivens and uh, it's not McDavid but yeah that's nice Kevin Fiala Young Guns. Oh he has been so good this past year with Minnesota and uh, that is a very nice card. I'll take that. I know it's not McDavid, but Kevin Fiala got to be one of the best in the class. Nathan Beaulieu, Ryan Getzlaff, Seth Jones, and Kevin Shattenkirk. I'll take that. That's a good start. All right. 16-17 Series 2 hobby. Obviously looking for Mitch Marner. And uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for, for this one. So we've got Mikhail Grigorenko, Patrick Maroon, Neil Yakupov, Michael Furland, and a Marky Rookies of Mikhail Sergachev. This is an update. Marky Rookies of Sergachev. Very nice. Shehan Bonino and Jonathan Drouin, which is actually quite funny because he got traded for Sergachev pretty much straight up. So now some 1617 Series 1 hobby. This stuff is about, I don't know, maybe 1250 Canadian per pack because uh, there is the chance at the Austin Matthews Young Guns High Gloss, which would be absolutely insane. And uh, let's just see, oh, really sticky uh, cards. So we've got Carl Alsner. Oh, goodness. All right, Carl Alsner, Jake Allen, and uh, oh, and then Martin Jones, and one of these super colossal cards of Derek Dorsett. Yeah, these don't look too great in my opinion, especially considering they are hobby exclusive for the year. And then Matt Niskanen, Yuri Laterra, and Paul Martin, and then Jake Muzzin. Now we're on to five higher end packs, Allure, Hobby, Let's go. Let's get something awesome. Saw Fulton Cards got a, a McDavid Quartz autograph out of five. I would not mind that at all. So let's see. We have Johnny Goudreau. These are the base cards. Very nice. And then Rem Pitlick. Top 50 allure. And then Henrik Lundqvist would be one of the white rainbow parallels. And then Andre Vasilevsky. Zach McEwen. Rookie. And Sebastian Ajo. So nothing too exceptional there. 
Maybe Trilogy can give us something awesome. Only eight packs per box of this stuff, and I mean, you can get a good amount of hits, so let's see if we do get something good. We do have a decoy, though, which is uh, not as fun. So we've got Matt's Zuccarello. John Gillies, Rookie Premieres, level 1 out of 999, 737 out of 999, and then Matt Murray out of 999, 437. All right, and then a big decoy, and Connor McDavid. There you go. Okay, now some 1819 ice. Obviously, looking for a level 1 ice premieres rookie. Come on, let's hit something massive. That would be sensational. And I do think we have an ice premieres. Let's go. Come on. Sergei Bobrovsky, Jonathan Taze, Jonathan Huberdeau, Green. And then I guess let's go from the back. I never do that. Sean Monahan. And then slow roll it. We have. Oh, Jacob Zaboral out of 999 ice premieres. 238. This would be a level 4, I believe. For the Boston Bruins. All right. Let's go. 1617 ice. A Matthews out of 99 would be absolutely bonkers. And uh, I guess we can hope for one of those. Let's see. So we have a Ryan McDonough base card. These are the base. Oh, no. We got a sub zero. Oh, that's rough. Tavo Teravainen, Matthew Barzell, rookie sub zero. Yep. Okay. And then a decoy and Mike Hoffman base. Okay. Uh, well, it's up to SPX. Can SPX give us something incredible? Come on, come on. Let's see something great. Oh, it's really thin, though. I think it's probably a jersey. And it looks to be Martin Brodeur. We have... Oh, oh, just a base card out of 299. 204 out of 299. This would have been exciting had it been autographed, unfortunately. Not the case. So, I mean, it started off well, but uh, once again, a difficult, rough, random pack opening. As a little bonus for this video, shortly after recording, the long lost pack actually arrived. And so, a little bonus, I'm going to be opening up a single pack of 1987-88 OPG hockey cards. I'm super excited to do this pack, and this is obviously a wax pack. Best rookies would be Luc Rabitai and obviously Ron Hextall, and uh, as a Habs fan, there are many I would like. Stéphane Richet, Vinny Danfous. This used to be a 35 cent pack, and uh, I mean, let's just open it up very nice and carefully. Looking forward to this. And here we go. Nice little bonus for this opening. All right, and kind of destroyed the uh, wax pack there. Got to be careful here. And take the cards out, and here we go. So we got a gum card. So gum is completely stuck here. I believe there might be seven or eight cards. I'm not actually quite sure. And I'm actually going to leave the gum here on the Tim Bothwell card. Uh, yeah, it's just not coming off. And then we got a Russ Courtnall card for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Take a look at this. Very nice. Russ Courtnall. And this is the back of these cards. Very, very nice. And then Rob Ramage for the St. Louis Blues. And uh, Greg Adams for New Jersey. Rick Vave for the Chicago Blackhawks. And Craig Laughlin for Washington. And finally, Dave Ellett for the Jets, and so none of the bigger names, unfortunately. I don't think there were any of my Habs rookies there, unfortunately, but uh, I mean, still, the odds were pretty slim, and I actually don't know if we even got a rookie out of these, but uh, overall, still very nice little bonus. I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, there we go, some 87-88 OPG. The tough luck continues with these random pack openings. In this one, we got a David Perron UD Canvas, Kiefer Sherwood, Rookie Portraits, Derek Dorsett, Super Colossal, Mikhail Sergachev, Marky Rookie, Rem Pitlick, Allure Top 50, and then a Zach McEwen Rookie from Allure. Jonathan Berdo would be a green from Ice. And then Henrik Lundqvist, White Rainbow, Matthew Barzal, Sub-Zero Rookie, Kevin Fiala, Young Guns, Matt Murray out of 999, John Gillies, Level 1, Rookie Premieres out of 999, and then Jacob Zaboral, Ice Premieres out of 999, Level 4. And finally, Martin Brodeur out of 299 from SPX. Yep, once again, I mean, it started off well and it ended pretty poorly. Hopefully, I can get something awesome in a future break of this. Because so far, these random pack breaks have been really, really bad. So, 
Ah, yeah, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I still hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully something in the future can make up for this. And I hope to see you all next time.